hello everyone and welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to do custom object detection using yolo v11 this is going to be a two class object detection and here are the steps that we are going to take first we will set up the environment for yolo v11 then we will annotate images in yolo format and after that we will train yolo v11 object detection model and finally we will run custom object detection on images videos and webcam the timestamps would be in the description below. Let's get started. Alright, let's create an empty directory and call it YOLO v11 underscore custom. Now open Anaconda prompt and go to that directory which is in D drive and then the coding bug YOLO v11 underscore custom. Now let's create a new environment conda create minus n yolo v11 underscore custom python equals 3.11 and minus y hit enter once that is done let's activate that environment by command conda activate yolo v11 underscore custom so now you can see the environment is activated let's clear the screen now we will install ultralytics by command pip install ultralytics After its completion, let's run python and import torch and run command torch.cuda.is underscore available. Now this will tell us if our GPU is being used. So here it's false. So we need to fix that. Let's exit it. Go to official PyTorch website and on get started page. Here just select latest build of PyTorch for your operating system using pip and for python and you have multiple options for CUDA I am going with CUDA 12.1 and just copy this command paste here and do not forget to add minus minus upgrade flag after install and hit enter it will uninstall the older version and install the newer version now let's verify if our GPU is being detected by PyTorch so type python and then import torch and again run command torch.cuda.is underscore available and it prints true that means it is going to use our gpu when we will train our custom model now head back to our yolo v11 custom directory and create a new folder called images and here i will paste all the images that i am going to use for our custom object detection these are images for traffic signals and here is the video that we will use later for testing purposes. Now let's install another library with command pip install label dash studio. We will be using this library to annotate our images. After it is installed, let's run it by command label dash studio. It is going to run on the local machine and it's going to ask you to log in. So my account is already saved here but if you do not have any account you can always click on sign up and it's very easy to set up your account with your email address and password so my account already exists so i'm just going to use that to log in and here you can see all my previous projects that i did so for this video we are going to create a new project let's rename it to yolo v11 custom and then head to data import and click on upload files here we are going to select all the images that we just copied and open them and all of these images are imported here so now head to labeling setup and from computer vision we will select object detection with bounding boxes and here are two default classes that we are going to remove and we'll add our own labels here so as this is traffic signals data set, we are just going to define two classes, red light and green light, and we'll add them. We can also change colors of each class just to distinguish them when we annotate the data. Now hit save. Here we can see all of our images and we can change its view to grid. And now click on label all tasks. So here we can see our two classes that we defined earlier. These have hotkeys. Press 1 to select red light and draw a bounding box. Press 2 to select green light and draw a bounding box. 
be as precise as possible i am just going to do it quickly for demonstration purposes once you are done on one image click on submit and it will present you the next image repeat the same process on the next image once you are done with all the images you will see this message no more tasks left in the queue so at this point you can head back to yolo v11 custom and then click on export and here you have multiple formats that you can use to export your annotations we are going to select yolo and then click on export it's going to give us a zip file so we're going to save it in the same directory that we're working in yolo v11 custom and here we have that file we do not need this older images folder we're just going to delete that now extract this zip folder and you will see multiple files here so this classes.txt contains the information about the classes that we defined earlier in label studio and these two folders have images and their corresponding labels we are just going to copy these two folders head back to root folder create another folder called train and one more folder called val so i'm just going to paste the images and labels directory that we copied earlier here in the train folder and here you can see all the images and here you have all the corresponding labels for those images now we also need some images for validation purposes so i'm just going to cut last five images from images folder head back to root folder and then val folder and here create another folder images and paste those images here now we also need their corresponding labels in validation folder so i'm just going to cut last five annotation files from labels directory in the train head back to val folder create another directory called labels and paste them here so now we have two folders train which has images and labels and another folder val which has its own images and labels we do not need this zip file so let's delete that now let's create a script file called train.py i'm going to open it in sublime text but you can use ide of your choice create another text file called dataset underscore custom dot yml this file is going to contain the information about the custom dataset that we are going to use to train yolo v11 open this file in text editor as well so i'm going to define path for train it's going to be this train directory that we defined earlier so i'm just going to copy this path from here and paste here then for val define the path to our val folder so i'm again going to repeat the same process and copy the path in this yml file now define nc which is total number of classes as we have just two classes so write two and now we need to define what those classes are so names this is going to be a list so now on the zero index just copy the class names from the text file that we saw earlier from zero index green light goes here from index one red light goes here so now we have defined these two class names and that's it our custom dataset file is ready now head back to train.py and from ultralytics import yolo now define model equals yolo and here we are going to define the model that we are going to fine tune and you can find the list of all the available models on ultralytics github repository scroll down and in the detection section you will see all the available models so every model has its own pros and cons smaller models are faster but are less accurate larger models are slower but more accurate so i'm just going with the middle ground and i'm going to select yolo v11m which is medium model so click on this and it will start downloading a pt file here you can see the file is downloaded so head back to our train.py file and write the file name of this downloaded model here yolo v11m.pt so now call model.train and inside train we have to define certain parameters so data is equal to this data set underscore custom dot yml file img sc which is image size it's going to be 640 as we saw earlier on alternatives github repository 
batch equals 8 epochs the total number of epochs would be 100 and workers equal 1 and device equal 0 for using GPU 0 or if you are using CPU just write CPU here but as we have GPU so I am just going to write 0 so let's move it to the second file so that we can see all of the parameters so head back to anaconda prompt label studio is still running so press ctrl c to exit it and then clear screen now run command python train dot pi so there is an error oh, okay so i misspelled epochs so let's head back to our script and correct this now run the command again python train dot pi now the training would start and we can see the 11 images are there in train and 5 in the val folder and those are loaded successfully but if you encounter this error that data loader worker exited unexpectedly so what you have to do is go back here and set workers to zero now if you run training script again it's going to start the training there we have it so while the training is still running let me explain a few things if you add more images into your train folder you need to delete this cache file labels.cache and similarly if you add more images into val folder you need to delete this cache file as well otherwise it will not use the newer images inside runs folder we can see we have another folder detect which has all our training attempts so our latest attempt is train 5 so inside that you will find weights folder and here you have best.pt that we are interested in so once the training will complete we are going to come back so once the training is complete you will be able to see all the statistics of the training for each class and the file that we are interested in is this best.pt so let's just copy this and head back to our yolo v11 custom folder and paste here and I'm going to rename it to YOLO v11 underscore custom. That's it. Training is complete. And now we will move to inferencing on images, videos, and webcam. Let's create another script called predict.py. Open that script. And again, from ultralytics, import YOLO and model equals YOLO. And here we are going to give file name of this custom model that we just renamed YOLO v11 underscore custom dot pd and now we are going to call model.predict so to run prediction on image let's take one image from val folder paste here rename it to 1.jpg and now in this model.predict source equals 1.jpg now show equals true and save this file now in anaconda prompt run python predict.py now here are the results but those results are not saved anywhere so if you want to save this prediction head back to your predict.py script and set parameter save equals true save the file and run the script again this time it's going to save the output in runs detect and here we have predict and inside predict we have this predicted image I'm going to delete all these training folders so we just have results of predictions okay back to predict.py we can set confidence so conf equals 0.6 so all the predictions that have confidence lower than 0.6 are going to be discarded here we have the result but all predictions had a confidence of more than 0.6 already so nothing changed if you do not like the size of the text or the thickness of the lines you can set another parameter line underscore thickness you can set it to three or four whatever you like so by setting it to one let's run the script again oh it says line underscore thickness is going to be obsolete you should use line underscore width anyways here you can see the size of the text and the width of the line is changed so head back to our script and change this parameter to line underscore width and this time i'm going to set it to two so let's run the script again 
no warning this time that's good so here are the results and i like this text size so let's keep it to two so if you want to save the cropped objects that are detected so you can set another parameter save underscore crop equals true and now if you'll run the script it's going to save all the detected lights in this crops folder so green light have all these three green lights that were detected if you need the annotations in yolo format you can set another parameter save underscore txt equals true and this time if you run this script inside brick folder you will have this labels folder as well which will have these annotations in the yolo format now if you do not want to see the labels on the predictions you can set hide underscore labels equals true and to hide confidence you can set hide underscore conf equals true oh these will also be obsolete and we should use show labels and show conf okay here is the result and you can see there are no confidence or labels shown on these predictions so let's change these two parameters to show underscore conf and this to show underscore labels finally we can set classes equals which would be a list so which classes you want the model to predict so we have two classes zero and one so we are going to use those zero for green light and one for red light so if you just want to predict green light just set it to zero and if you want to predict red light just set it to one so but i'm going to use both so zero and one so now if you want to run on the video so how would we do that so just change this source to traffic underscore lights dot mp4 and let me set save crop to false and save txt to false and maybe set confidence to 0.7 and now if we will run this script it's going to run prediction on the video and now if we'll go to detect and then predict we can see the output of that video with all the predictions i'll set this confidence back to 0.6 so now if you like to run the custom object detection on some ip camera you can set the address of that ip camera here as source and it will work on that and if you like to run on local webcam just set it to zero and run the predict script again and you will see the output from your local webcam now head back to predict.py i am going to comment this code and we'll see how to export this model to another format so model dot export format equals and i'm going to export is as onyx so onnx now run this script and you will see this yolo v11 underscore custom dot onnx file now which other formats are supported you can check that on the official ultralytics documentation so i'll put that link in the description so here if you scroll down you can see all of these formats are supported so we use this on an x so if you want to save as tensorflow you can use saved underscore model and if you want as tensorflow light you can use tf light so just change this format here as tf light and it's going to export that or you can use saved underscore model now one more thing you can run all of these from the command line directly without using python scripts so how to do that let me show you quickly so in the command prompt write yolo detect predict model equals yolo v11 underscore custom dot pt and source equals 1 dot jpg this is going to produce identical results to the python script that we did earlier and here you can see the output is saved in predict 10 and it's same output so if you would like to train from the command line you can use yolo detect train model equals this time use yolo v11 n dot pt and then data equals data set underscore custom dot yml epochs equals 100 image size equals 640 workers equals zero device equals zero so basically all the parameters that we used in the python scripts patch equals eight this is going to start the training and here you can see the output of this training just like before with that i think i'm done if you have learned something of value today hit like and subscribe to the channel consider a support on the patreon to help the channel out i will see you next time